Now that you've created a company profile, you're going to need to add your employees. You can do so by clicking the Employees tab in the top right hand corner. Here you'll see a full list of your employees and some basic employee information. If you don't have any employees added, you can do so by clicking the Add Employee button in the top corner. The first tab is Personal Information. Here, you'll be able to add any of the employee's basic information. You'll also be able to put in their banking information at the bottom of this screen. You'll be able to email them the login details for their Paychecker account by clicking this button here and adding an email in this box over here. Payroll Details and Rules is where you're going to put in all the payment information for the employee. So, what, prov what their province of employment is, the type of employee they are, their rate, their rate unit, how many pays per year, standard hours of work per week, anything they may have in the vacation bank, and how you want to accrue or release vacation if you would like to. Here's where you would also update their TD1 information, and if there's any tax exemptions, you would modify that here. Any benefits or deductions that you create within the system, you apply it to the employees in this tab. And their financial year to date information, so anything payroll related from January to date, would be input in here. Please make sure anytime you make any modifications, you save them in the top right hand corner. To see any terminated employees, you would click over here. If you want to find an ROE for that employee that you have terminated in the past, you can simply click View and you can view their history as well as their ROE.